Welcome to the Elevate Media Podcast with your host, Chris Anderson. In this show, Chris and his guests will share their knowledge and experience on how to go from zero to successful entrepreneur. They have built their businesses from scratch and are now ready to give back to those who are just starting. Let's get ready to learn, grow, and elevate our businesses. And now your host, Chris Anderson. Welcome back to another recording of the Elevate Media Podcast. I am Chris Anderson, your host. Today, I want to get into the topic of delegation. Delegation is not just a task assignment. It's a strategic approach that can transform your business. But before we get into that, I want to take a moment to reflect on why this is such a critical skill for you as a business owner, as an entrepreneur. You really got to understand and appreciate the art of delegation. To do that, you have to understand what it entails. Delegation is a process of entrusting tasks and responsibilities to others while retaining responsibility for the outcomes. It's not just about giving up control, but about empowering your team and optimizing the resources you have. So for example, as I built Elevate in my team, I gave responsibilities to certain individuals and I had to make sure that they understood the process and things to do. So I still had some skin in the game. And so I was able to delegate those tasks to them, understanding if the outcome wasn't what I wanted, then it was on me. And as I was able to delegate more, then it freed up me to be able to do things different on the business. But it wasn't always like that. When I first started, I thought I had to do it all. and I had to get everything done myself, which in the long term, as you probably know already, that's a great way to get burnout and limit your growth. Finally realized the importance of delegation and team building. And that's when I finally started to see the growth happen consistently. And so there are some challenges when you have delegation that you have to overcome. And it's not always a smooth process. And that's just part of it. So the challenge is some of them, one of the biggest, I would say, is the trust thing. Because you're giving part of your business to someone else. And that can be really difficult to let go and entrust that to someone else, right? It's your baby. You don't want them to mess it up. You want it done a certain way. When I first delegated some tasks to an individual on our team, it took a lot of trust. It was the first time I delegated anything major. These were results that I had to have for the clients that I was delegating now to a team member. And I'd done it a certain way and I wanted it, I needed it done by a certain time. And letting that go and putting that on someone else's shoulders or in their hands was really hard. I didn't want to, but I knew I had to. And it worked out great. And he's still with us today. He's awesome. He's been huge in helping us grow. But if I learned to take that risk, that leap, and trust, then might not ever happen. That was just something I experienced. So we've got to overcome the hurdle, right? So you can start by giving small tasks and then gradually giving bigger ones out. That is what you can do as the trust builds. And then you've got to have clear communication too, though. You've got to articulate, explain your expectations and give them what they need without stifling what they're good at. So let them have their creativity with an expected result that they understand and know. And as you do that, you're going to build more trust. And that is the bedrock of effective delegation. You've got to build that trust. So when you trust your team, that allows you to focus on more strategic decision-making and scaling of your business. You can do that with confidence then because you know your team can get things done without you have to quote-unquote babysit or, or hover over or whatever it is. You have that trust that they're going to get it done when it's supposed to be done at the level it's supposed to be done. So I want to get at what's the best practices for delegation. The first thing you've got to do is you've got to understand what task is actually good to delegate. Because you shouldn't delegate every task. But the ones that are routine, time-consuming, or specialized, those are the ones that are the ones you should delegate first. So for example, like I built a business and I could edit and I could do those things and I was decent at it. But I knew I wanted to have that to be even better. So bringing on people who could do it better than I could, who could understand cameras, you could do all that better than I could, is going to be a better thing to delegate than trying to keep that all on my own. Step two is, again, clear communication. You've got to do more than just give them the task. You've got to keep it super simple and clear and let them know it's okay to ask questions and give feedback. Maybe it's not as simple as you thought it was from their perspective. So opening that up allows us to have even better communication. And then step three, give your team the power. Give them some autonomy, some ability to do things on your their own and complete the tasks that you've delegated to them. Micromanaging can really be counterproductive. It really keeps down the creativity flow and it lowers employee growth. So try not to micromanage. And like I said, at Elevate, 
I embraced delegation as quick as I found out about it and understood how to do it because I knew I couldn't do this on my own. It's allowed me to take on more clients, deliver better results, and it's a strategy that's truly propelled Elevate Forward. Without being able to delegate and bring people on who are better than I am in certain areas, we want to be where we are. Now, there are some mistakes you want to avoid if you're trying to delegate. So it's a valuable skill to be able to delegate, but some of the pitfalls uh, or mistakes you can make is not providing enough guidance, giving a task without the proper system or structure or guide in place for that individual. It's going to lead to misunderstandings, mistakes, and then you're going to have revisions or you're going to have upset clients. So you've got to have that all in place and really laid out clear. Another mistake is not holding a team accountable. It doesn't mean that you give the task to that person and say, okay, I'm done. It's on you. You've got to monitor progress, provide the feedback, and ensure accountability. I've had conversations, you know, with things I've delegated and reminding them, hey, we've got to make sure we're at the highest level or getting it done at this time frame. Like you've got to hold them accountable because they represent you and your business now. And that, again, and that goes to the, the trust you have with them and the open line of communication, them able to give feedback to you as well, allows those conversations to happen in an easy, a good manner. And so get your point across and make it better for everybody. So yeah, I just wanted to hit on delegation, how to do better, what to watch out for when you're trying to delegate. Because it's a very useful thing you need to do if you're trying to get to that next level because you only have so much time in the day. But when you bring other people on, you then have their time as well. So you can maximize what you can do in a day. So remember, delegation isn't just giving away tasks to free up your time. It's about optimizing your resources, empowering your team, and driving growth through strategic focus. But until next time, continue to go out, continue to elevate your life, elevate your brand. Talk to you again soon. Thank you for listening to the Elevate Media Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. See you in the next episode.